Hey guys, I'm recording this quick video to show you how easy it is to use this awesome article marketing tool called Article Submitter Plus. Now, over the years, I've used pretty much every uh, commercially available piece of software for article marketing and automation out there. And, you know, I've literally stopped using all the others uh, once Article Submitter Plus came into my attention because it, it really works super fast. And those of you that are into internet marketing, you know that automation is a key and being able to get things out in volume is uh, extremely important. And so being able to have a tool that's incredibly fast, incredibly accurate, uh, and actually does the job well is very, very important. So let's get to it. When you open Article Submitter Plus, the first thing that you do is you go and you, you create a profile. So I'm going to go over here uh, and show you how that's done. You just simply open the profile or new profile window fill out these few fields and then once you've done that you just click add profile so all you're looking at here is name your profile put a first name last name username password um, the email address the server name of that email address now important to note you cannot use free email accounts like hotmail yahoo gmail and so forth you really need to have an email set up on your own uh, hosted account somewhere which you know, if you've got hosting with HostGator or, or any other hosting account, you can very easily go and set up a POP3 email account. Uh, it takes literally seconds, and then you just populate these fields with that information. Once you've done that, you click the Add Profile button. It goes through its couple of seconds of processing, and it sets that up. So I've got one set up for the internet marketing niche. And once these are set up, they're retained in the system, so they're very easy to continue to use over and over again. All right, so I've selected the one I want to use. So once you have a profile set up, then you simply create accounts on all of the available article directories and wiki accounts um, that you can use in the system. And right now, there are a lot of them. In fact, uh, as you can see here, there's 3,537 accounts that you can automatically set up your own profile on and be able to uh, have the software automatically post and submit articles to those directories. So I've already done this with this account, and you can see with any article marketing software, you're never going to have 100% accuracy. Um, you're always going to have a number of accounts that fail, and that's due to any number of reasons. But you can see that uh, I've got accounts successfully set up on a ton of these. There are some that failed. Uh, that's to be expected. But for the most part, I'm getting a really high rate of successful account creation. Uh, upwards of 70 to 80 percent. I actually have one that I ran recently that did a 92 percent success rate in setting up accounts. So that's fantastic. So if you got 3,500, you know, you roughly get uh, 2,800 to 3,000 or so successful accounts set up. And then when you submit to those, you'll get a very high uh, success rate as well using this software. Uh, it's updated automatically online, so periodically when you open it, if there's an update, it automatically and seamlessly uh, goes ahead and plugs that update in and you're back off up and running. Um, so once you have the account set up, then it's just a matter of inputting an article. So I'm going to show you how easy that is. Uh, I'm going to create a new article for this profile. So you just click the Add New Article button here. It opens up a window. Now I'm going to jump over to my spinning software and I'm going to uh, uh, grab the, an article that I recently have spun. Now, just as a side note, I use the Spin Rewriter Spinner. It is by far the most accurate and creates the most high quality spun articles uh, that you can imagine. Um, way better than some of the more popular uh, solutions like the Best Spinner, um, you know, and, and there's a number of them out there, but for the most part, auto spinning creates garbage content. It's barely human readable. Whereas Spin Rewriter, if you go through and you have the settings set correctly, um, you can create a very human readable, high quality article that nobody will even know has been spun. So I've gone ahead and run that here, and this is my spun version. Uh, I've created a unique version of this, and you can see here it's a 91% unique from the original. I'm gonna grab the title, and I'm gonna go back over to my software and I'm gonna put the title in. This is not a spun title, this is just a, uh, a actual created title here. And in a second, we'll put uh, the spun title in. I'm gonna add a new group here. This is going to be, uh, I'll just call it Internet Marketing. It allows you to, to basically classify your articles into certain headers. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna put the spin title in. 
So I'll go back to my spinning software, I'll go up here and I'll grab the spun version of the title and put that in here. And then I usually, for the summary, we'll, we'll just grab the first paragraph of the article. And again, it's, uh, it's already spun, so I'm getting the spun version. Put that in. I'm going to open this window up just a little bit, make it a little bigger. A little easier to see. Okay, and then the body text. Now here we'll grab the entire article, uh, spun version again except for the last paragraph, because the last paragraph is my uh, author bio. And I'll paste that into the body text. And then in the resource box, I'm going to grab my article bio or my author bio resource area. Uh, again, the spun version of that. And you can see in the resource area, that's where I have my link. And what I'm promoting here is a, a video review that I did for a recent product launch called Real Quick Commissions. So it's the uh, source uh, on YouTube is where we're linking to. And then for keywords, you just enter in uh, some keywords that are relevant. Quick Commissions, uh, let's put in Okay, so I just added a couple of keywords in, and then I'm going to hit preview article, and that's going to generate a version of it um, using the, the spun content. So you can see now this is an actual version of my article. So I've got a, a spun title, the summary, the body text, and then down here is my resource box, which you can see my link is then activated. And you can click this respin, and you'll see every time you click that, it respins the article. So you get a unique version every single time that it's going to submit. Uh, to a different article directory. So you're getting unique quality content. Now the quality of course is going to be independent of, of this software. If you're using a spinner like Spin Rewriter, you're going to get extremely high quality content uh, if you do it right. Uh, I will also provide a link to that uh, Spin Rewriter at the end of this video or in the uh, description box. Um, so you'll be able to, to go and check that out if you want to as well. Um, so once you've got this to your liking, you just click Select Sites and I'm just going to click the All button, and I'm going to use Instant Submission. So I'm going to be submitting to all of the directories that I've selected uh, all in one run. If you want to drip feed, you can certainly do that. If you've got a brand new site, you might want to drip feed so you're not creating backlinks too quickly. Uh, the site that I'm sending this to is YouTube, or, or linking to is YouTube. In that case, um, you know, I can link as fast as I want. I'm not going to get penalized. So I go ahead and select instant and I'm going to click add article. So now my article is over here in the articles collection. And if I double click there and select that article, now all I have to do to start the submission process is come up here and click select all and go down here and click the submit button. So I'll go ahead and click that. And it takes just a couple of seconds for it to process that. And then you'll see here in a second, that it starts the submitting process. Okay, and there we go. You can see it's off and running. Now I'm going to pause the video here. Um, now this process will only take a few minutes, but I'm going to pause it just to uh, so you're not sitting here looking at the screen processing. And then I'll resume it once we've submitted all of these articles. You can see uh, all of these successfully. Actually, already you can look up here and see we've got some successfully completed already. And you'll get a few fails. Uh, that's perfectly normal. So uh, again, I'm going to pause this and we'll resume in just a minute. So it's been about 22 minutes so far and I uh, just wanted to start the video again here and just show you the progress so far. Um, we're uh, up in the 2000 plus now. It started at 1 and it's up in uh, 2072, still submitting. We've got almost all our submissions have been done already. And I can scroll down here. You can kind of see that they're actively submitting to, uh, to all of these sites. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes. Uh, I'll pause the video, wait a few more minutes, and then we'll resume when the process is completed uh, all the way to the end. 
And we are back. So it's been uh, 58 minutes since we started submitting to the article directories and wiki sites. And uh, the project has completed. So what I did was I just kind of let it run in the background while I was working on other tasks. And uh, like I said, less than an hour, I've submitted to uh, over 3,000, actually over 3,500 article directories and wiki sites. So let's, uh, let's see how we did here. You can kind of just look down through here. Let me sort by progress. So you can see all of these. Um, there's a number of them that failed, which is completely, perfectly normal. You're always going to have that with any uh, automated article um, submission software. Um, but we have a ton of them that were completed successfully. So I'm just scrolling down through here. You can see lots and lots of submission complete. Now we can also go over here to reports and we can pull a report. Um, whoops, that's the wrong one. Let me switch over and pull from the right. There we go. Okay, so here's the submission report for this latest one we just did. Uh, give it a second to process that. Still working. Okay, there we go. So you can see we've published 1900 uh, articles and then we have another 300 or so that are pending review. So over 2000 successful completions, which is fantastic uh, out of the 3500 we submitted to. And you can go through here and here's a whole list of all the different ones. And we could just, uh, you know, click on any of these and it actually will open up and we can see uh, this is one of the wiki sites. So we've got our article posted there. There's my link right there towards the bottom. And we'll click on that. And that goes to the video that I'm promoting. So let me close out of that. And you can also export these. So what I like to do after I do an article submission is actually uh, export the entire list to a, uh, an XLS file or a, or a CSV file in Excel. And let me show you what happens when I do that. So then I get the whole list. And then what I do is I just go down the list. Let me expand this. I go down the list and I select all of the published ones. So that would be all of these URLs here. Okay. Got a couple other things running in the background, so that's why my system's slow. So all the way down here. So we'd select that entire chunk, which is basically 1,932 links, or URLs rather and I would just copy those and then I would paste those into another service that I use which um, you know if you're not using this um, in your marketing I would highly suggest it. The service that I like is called Backlinks Indexer and what this service does is it then builds backlinks automatically to all of my links that I submit into it. So I'm going to log into this real quick and just show you real quick And once I get in here, I'll go to my dashboard. And then I would just come in like this and paste these links right into there. And then click the Add button. And what that's going to do for me is automatically put them into this Backlinks Indexer system. They're going to start processing these URLs uh, at the rate of about 100 a day. And you can go all the way up to 500 a day, uh, depending on the level of membership that you choose to use. But it, it bookmarks them, it sends them out to blog networks, and it essentially starts building backlinks automatically to each and every one of these links. And what that does is it ensures that Google is going to find every single one of these articles, every single one of these backlinks pointing to whatever um, main site, that could be your money site, your video, your company website, whatever that might be, uh, and make sure that your backlinks are not wasted. You know, if all you're doing is you're creating lots of backlinks and article postings and all of that, you know, only 10 to 15 percent of those will naturally be found by Google. So you've got a lot of wasted effort. So by using a service like Backlinks Indexer, you can ensure that you're not wasting that effort of building links and that they're actually going to be found. So again, that was just kind of a little bonus uh, that I throw in there. And I'll put a link to that service as well if you want to go there and, and check that out. Um, so again, uh, Article Submitter Plus, it is a piece of software I highly recommend. I've used a lot of article submitters and this one, because of its speed and simplicity and it just plain works. Um, and I'll tell you, most of the article submission software is crap out there. Uh, you get into it, you start 
uh, creating accounts and it fails 50, 60, 70 percent of the time. It doesn't create accounts. And by the time it's all said and done, you're really only successfully submitting to maybe 100, possibly 200 sites in each run. Whereas you can see here again, you know, 1900 uh, or 2200 successful uh, submissions to wiki sites and article directories uh, is pretty incredible. So I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you found this review useful and uh, I'll show you some links here for resources that I mentioned in this video. Thanks.